So it looks like the population of Halo Infinite continues to grow. A former developer at 343 recently showcased that they actually gained 30 million unique users. This is back in January of 2023. And that's up from 20 million back in January 25th of 2022. If you guys like these informative videos, make sure you tap like, it really helps out the video and channel. And apparently 81% of people who are watching this channel are not subscribed, so you know what to do then. And let's get right into those details. With the releases of Season 4 and 5 gaining more popularity with Halo Infinite, you know that number has gone up significantly. So much of the fact that Halo Infinite is actually the third most played game on Xbox Game Pass. And people are even saying that Halo Infinite should have been awarded for best community support game in the Game Awards. And don't take my word for it, take Moist Critical's word for it. Destiny should be replaced by Halo Infinite. I'm not even memeing. 343, after they like cleaned house, I guess, when they fucking fired half the staff or whatever, got their act together, and they have turned that game around. Halo Infinite should actually be the one on here. It's two years late. Like, it's... It, they're very tardy to the party, but they have somehow turned that fucking game around. That should be here. That would win. I would vote for that. It makes a great argument right there, saying that Halo Infinite has really turned it around. It has been a little late to the party when it comes to getting to the point where it should be, but we're finally at a good state where the game plays well. It feels like the live service is actually alive. We're getting updates. We're getting new content as of most recently, the Halo 3 Refuel playlist. Perfect thing to get people excited about playing Halo again. I've had people in my real life who like to play games but never really play Halo text me and be like, hey, I jumped in to play the Halo 3 playlist. It's a ton of fun. 2007 was my jam. And while I would love to see 343 try to focus more on unique, fun experiences to keep Halo Infinite more in the modern era, more in the discussion of modern gaming, right now you need to just kind of go for that easy win and that is playing off in nostalgia because every time you ever see Halo in any kind of media reference or any kind of promotion, it's always like, hey, people, remember back in the early 2000s when Halo was sick? Well, here's this promotion to buy into this thing. And I would say that the best for Halo Infinite is yet to come. Well, Season 5 has been fantastic with the new hero ranks, Battle Pass changes foraging AI, which has been incredible, the new Bandit Eva, which has made competitive so much better. You still have Firefight King of the Hill and the Repair Field, a new bit of equipment coming in for the Sandbox, which is going to be a game changer, especially when it comes to vehicle style gameplay or even custom game modes as well. Firefight even possibly as well. And Firefight is something that's going to be fitting a niche that Halo Infinite has been missing since the launch of the game. And that's just a casual game mode you can jump in and play with your friends. Like, yes, you've been able to do that with custom games, but it's a niche community that's very strong and there and needs to be part of Halo. But people want to just kind of hop in for that matchmaking experience, simple and easy. And that's what matchmaking Firefight for King of the Hill is going to do. I'm not going to dive into everything we know about King of the Hill. I made a video about that yesterday. You guys want to check that out. I'll link it at the end of this video. But 343 are really doing the steps that they need to do to make Halo Infinite a game that people need to jump in and play. At this point, I feel like the game's really just kind of missing a big signature mode in a new campaign, but as Moist Critical pointed out earlier in this video, that, that basically the entire campaign team got laid off from Halo Infinite, because I think Microsoft and 343 wanted to hit that reset button again with the Halo franchise to kind of figure out what are we going to do moving forward and how can we create a new Halo experience? Because even though Halo Infinite was originally supposed to be the 10 year plan, I don't really see that happening. Because what would be an easy win to get a big boost of players to come back to play Halo Infinite? A brand new campaign, just a DLC to add on to Halo Infinite. The one consistent thread though I've heard that comes to developing for Halo is that it's very difficult because of their proprietary engine and it's very time consuming. With how fast paced the game development world is nowadays with live services, with new experiences coming around so often, you need to create something new really fast. And that's where we got the rumors from Jason Schreier, who's a very credible insider when it comes to gaming information, saying that they're doing an engine pivot to the Unreal Engine, which would make sense. I've heard a lot of similarities from developers saying that the slow space engine works in very similar ways to Unreal, but specifically for Halo. But since it's such a specific skill set and reliance on contractors by Microsoft, you need to be able to bring people in and also let them go quickly because that's just how Microsoft does their business. And the fastest way to ramp people up to speed would be utilizing the Unreal Engine. Engine. Like when it comes to the multiplayer side of things, 343 has done a great job of turning things around. Uh, we do see some dev maps. I've seen some leaks recently. I don't want to share them quite yet when it comes to content, though I want to wait until closer to season six so we can know for sure that these leaks are going to be coming in. But we've seen some new maps which look really interesting coming in for the next season. Only fun new cool stuff, 343 are working on making the game function better, specifically with the networking and desync. We talked about this earlier on the channel as well, saying that 343 is pursuing a fundamental change to the underlying 
network model to fix the desync issue because they tried to do it incrementally wasn't exactly working out in their favor they're also working on custom game browser features as well multi-use customization various bug fixes and a ton of extra things so halo infinite is turning out to be one of the best halo games out there at least multiplayer wise it just feels a shame because it seems like halo players have been having to wait for it feels like almost a decade now at this point we just get a good halo game into a good state that we can jump in and have fun and we're just starting to get there. Forge content that's been added into the matchmaking has been fantastic for that supplemental stuff to kind of get people excited about playing Halo on a week by week basis between these major beats that we've been having with these seasonal updates. The last Tenrai event that we had was something actually worth playing. It wasn't just like Fiesta like it was before. And 343 changing up their event model to now the operations, which lasts a little bit more than like a month or so with its own unique battle pass, which you can buy into, which again, helps support the game, but also gives players something to grind for as well. Like I talked about earlier, the Halo 3 plays is a perfect example of what 343 can do to utilize the community and forge content while also having developer made content for the major beats with the seasonal releases the next main beat that we're waiting for is going to be firefight like we talked about earlier that's going to be an ongoing live experience as well 343 even stated that they wanted to bring community made maps into firefight as soon as possible now how soon that possible might be depends I'm sure, I'm sure on how complicated the mode and map might be. We did see the Forge lead Michael Shore talk about the turnaround when it comes to maps saying that the best turnaround would be about eight weeks. That's two months for a map to be started to be in Forge to then be brought into matchmaking. Now with the Firefly map that couldn't take more or less because I couldn't imagine them worrying too much about balance and make sure everything plays just right like you would with a multiplayer map because you're playing against PvE, right? You basically just need to make sure you can't fall through the map. There's no weird glitch and things like that so depending on the complexity of things we could see a rather fast turnaround when it comes to community made firefight maps which there are going to be three firefight maps brought into the game at launch on top of the house of reckoning and also your regular multiplayer maps and it seems like 343 are starting to focus more on the social side of things when it comes to the gameplay design which i think is the right move when halo infinite launched it was a very competitive style game. A lot of the maps didn't really have any kind of unique feel to them. Very three lane focused, very competitive focused as well. That's probably why a ranked arena has always been the most played mode within Halo Infinite when it comes to the matchmaking side of things. But you can see with even the map design that we're talking about when it comes to being a much more social experience like Cliffhanger, not exactly the most competitive map. Chasm, definitely not that. Prism, very much not a competitive map either though they are fun unique experiences and the new content that has been coming into the game when it comes to developer made stuff has been much more of a standout experience it's not just a simple three lane map which could play great don't get me wrong three lane maps work but you need to mix it up a little bit especially with the social experiences so their experiences between these maps stand out and you don't get so worn out from playing such sweaty games and skill based matchmaking which is still in the game very much i'm not gonna get into that topic in this video so maybe even next year we could see halo of it as the best ongoing game best supported game for the game awards in 2024 if microsoft allows it obviously but halo infinite has improved so much since launch it's been a great time to jump back in and play if you're missing out on halo be part of that 30 million new player base and probably more now that are starting to play the game and let's have some fun playing halo if you want to know more about firefight coming into halo infinite check out this video right here i'll catch you on the next one peace out